predictions of hurricane intensity, that is to say which category the hurricane is, is it category one, is it category three, is it category five, haven't improved as much as predictions of hurricane trajectory, that is to say where it's going to make landfall. So our work is focusing on how we might use unmanned aircraft to collect observations or measurements of temperature, moisture, and wind inside a hurricane in order to improve those forecasts to give people more time to evacuate if necessary. My name is Derek Paley. I'm an assistant professor of aerospace engineering at the University of Maryland, and I'm the director of the Collective Dynamics and Control Laboratory. So the work in my lab has a theme of collective behavior. We're interested in how groups work together, whether they're groups of insects or groups of birds or groups of robots. And so we're interested on the engineering side in designing unmanned vehicles that can work together to solve problems. One of the main challenges in our work is how to design steering algorithms for unmanned aircraft when there's strong winds. And what we mean by strong winds are any kind of wind that exceeds the speed of the aircraft. And so most of the work that we do actually is, is, is mathematics. And so we work with differential equations and that model the movement of the aircraft in the wind. And then we design steering control algorithms using those models, which then subsequently could be implemented on the aircraft. We do work with prototype aircraft in my lab but those tend to be rotorcraft or helicopter in miniature scales. But many of the same steering algorithms apply even in smaller scales. What we're trying to do with this, with this research is to address a, an area of societal need that has the potential to impact uh, and address a, 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 a problem that, that we anticipate facing our nation. There's been a number of very strong hurricane seasons recently and so the, there are a great deal of potential cost uh, in terms of lives and property uh, for future hurricane landfalls and to the extent that our research can improve the emergency response decisions we hope will have a potential for societal impact.